In today's video, I got you guys a 47 kill gameplay with the new best WSP Storm class setup in Warzone 3. All right, so getting straight into the meta WSP Storm class setup in Warzone for the barrel. Make sure you guys are rocking the WSP Reckless for the bullet velocity, range, aim and out of sway, gun kick control, and the recoil control. With the Reckless Long Barrel, you guys are going to be getting 32% effective damage range, which is not as important as minimum damage range. Effective damage range is the long range, which is not as important with the smgs but you actually do get 32 percent minimum damage range as well which if you guys don't know the minimum damage range on the weapon stat is actually the close to medium range which are going to be the majority of your gun fights when you are using smg and then you get on top of that bullet velocity you get 23.8 percent which is how fast your bullet actually travels so very very good attachment and then moving on to the muzzle category on the wsp storm i was rocking the l4r flash shatter for the muzzle flash concealment the recoil control and the gun kick control you do lose a little bit of ads speed but it's really really negligible don't worry about that definitely make sure you guys are rocking the flash shatter for that recoil control another option you guys do have is the shadow strike suppressor if you guys do like staying off the radar it is a very very viable option just be aware you guys will not get any of the other benefits when you are rocking the flash shatter like below velocity recoil control or gun kick control but just keep that in mind if you guys do decide to rock the shadow strike i personally do prefer the flash shatter for the extra added recoil control now moving on to the stock category i was rocking the fss fortress heavy stock for the gun kick control the recoil control the firing aim stability and the tax stand spread now for those of you that do prefer mobility you can go ahead and take off the fortress heavy and then rock the wsp factory stock i personally do like the fortress heavy just because it turns the gun into an absolute laser I mean you can shoot across the map with the fortress on the fortress heavy stock in particular you guys are getting a ton in the recoil department You're getting 28.3 percent on the recoil gun kick which is one of the most important stats in the entire game then you of course you are getting the horizontal recoil control at 22.7 and then finally the vertical at 20.5 you guys do lose a bit of mobility but it really is negligible especially with how much recoil control you do actually get with the fortress heavy stock so that is why i was rocking the fortress over the wsp factory moving on to the rear grip category for the wsp storm i was rocking the marauder grip for the firing aim stability the gun kick control and the recoil control you do lose a little bit of flinch resistance and a little bit of aiming out of sway but the stats you do get from rocking this are way way too good to pass up for these stats you get recoil gun kick at 10 percent which is very very important one of the most important stats in the entire game but then of course the horizontal recoil which is very important you actually can't control horizontal recoil control so anywhere you can to get horizontal recoil control is an added bonus and then of course the vertical recoil control at 8.2 percent which does help control those medium to long range engagements definitely helping you out in literally every single single gunfight that you do get into with the swarm and then last but not least for the magazine category i was actually rocking the 50 round mag i do see some people rocking the 100 round drum i have not gotten around to trying that i would not recommend it on vondell in particular man unless you are rocking like a no stock type of build i was actually rocking the 50 round mag if you guys are playing solos go ahead and throw in the 40 round but anything over solos like duos trios or quads either go with the 50 or the 100 round but i mean here's a full wsp swarm build man i was not lying when i said this thing literally shoots across the entire our map one of if not the best guns in the entire game right now man you guys make sure you guys use it a lot of people are gonna get out this class so to make sure you guys get some wins kills whatever you guys want to do with it i hope you guys do enjoy the 47 kill game so hope you guys have a great rest of your day or night i'll catch you guys on the next one peace i'm going after him dude wait The same guy.
having way too much faith in that Guardian, my man. It's not like in Black Ops 2, bro. Got nerfed to the ground in this game, bro. Please don't have your whole team here. If you're gonna lay down at that, you gotta react when someone comes up, bro. Okay. Why is everybody AFK? Die from that fall, bro. A team wipe if he was down for that long with no self, huh? Team wipe. That on ground level. Teammates are all up top. How does nobody have sleight of hand? I want to use my loadout. It looks like I'm gonna have to because nobody has damn sleight of hand.
It's not easy to buy UAVs with a... Copy that. You know, an 80 ping. Get in! Look at the kids that parking garage over there too. Sorry, Timothy, man. Yeah, now we can definitely get one. Oh my god, bro. I can't I can't buy stuff on this thing, bro. It's brutal the delay when you're trying to buy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna start on the free load up. Oh, this sounds to cover. We got Loda finally, 20 minutes into the game. Guys, buying back. I guess I thought I didn't know if our surgeons closed yet. I definitely saw me, right? Okay. 
just ran into the gas. That was smart, wasn't it? Got bought, bro. I was about to say, GG's, and I saw this last kid. Where's this guy at? In the water again? Has to be, right? Or is that guy to land over there? No, it can't be. He literally has to be in the water, right? 